guys, welcome back to another video. I'm coming to you from my very messy house. <laughs> Today, <sighs> it's busy, it's busy. We are officially moved out of our house that I'm standing in right now. We are not officially moved out. We officially started sleeping. We moved over. Let me say, we're not moved out, we moved over. <laughs> so we started sleeping at our small house. It's like less than half the size of this house that we're staying in for um, probably about a year. Yeah, it's just been a little chaotic. <laughs> you know, moves are always stressful. I keep telling myself it's fine. The last time we moved was so exhausting. I felt like the most tired I ever have in my life, but I was pregnant at the time. I'm not pregnant right now. What was different? Oh, we had to move out really fast. In this case, in our scenario right now, we have two weeks before our painters are coming in and painting the whole house. So that's the deadline we've set for ourselves. Um, it's a little interesting because Solo has very, very little time to help us right now. I also have a big project that I'm trying to work on. So I'm rolling out a course that's taking a lot of my time. So timing wise, it's not the best, but we really need to get this house on the market. So anyway, here we are. I forgot to cancel our cleaners. We have cleaners that come and help us with this house once a week. It's such a blessing. We have loved it. We love the ladies that come. They're so sweet and um, <clears throat> they just help us stay on track, like make sure everything is put back in its home. That's what we do. So once a week we all just work to make sure it's all tidy, everything is in its home and then they come in and just make it beautiful. And so I, since I forgot to cancel them, I'm going to go through the house and um, I just came over here this morning. I think a couple of my big kids are coming too. They just, we're sleeping in a little. It is our day off. We. Try to keep on top of it, but it just didn't happen very well. And so <laughs> it'll it'll be good to make ourselves get it all nice and tidy. See, I don't know if you can tell that mirror there, all the fingerprints. I mean, this is the story of our lives. We have little children. <laughs> it's always messy really quickly, even at two days after they clean. But it's so nice to have the house reset. So I think it'll actually be good that they're coming in. Uh, there's some closets we've cleaned out the floor, like mostly. I don't know if you can see all that junk. So they'll be able to clean clean it, make <laughs> make some of it nice that we moved stuff out of. But then we're gonna be moving stuff for two weeks. But at least all the bathrooms will be clean, all of that kind of stuff. So you can see I'm justifying why I forgot to cancel them, but <laughs> it'll be good. When, they're, when we are done moving and the painters have come, oh, is someone here? No, it's just windy. When the painters have come and the, we're gonna probably have to remodel one bathroom too, we'll have them come and get it all clean again for showing it. But yeah, we did live in it this last week and <laughs> it can use cleaning. Anyway, huh, I keep telling myself it's, it's just do the next thing that you have to do. And so that's how I'm functioning right now. It's like the homemaker ultimate challenge to move our whole house into a small space and I don't want, I, I don't keep a lot of stuff that we don't use. I like yesterday we came and we got all of our shoes, all of our shoes and we store our children's shoes when they're not using them, like when they've grown out of them for the next child because that one thing has saved us so much money. So if kids' shoes are in good shape, we keep them. We don't do that with all our clothes anymore. Uh, we do with some of our clothes if the next kid coming is just a couple sizes down that we wouldn't be keeping it for five or six years, you know. But for shoes, we really have not just let go of all those because of the incredible savings and the time savings of just being able to go to our shoe store downstairs and get your next size, you know, when you find out uh, when the weather's suddenly warm and suddenly you need shoes, you don't have to run and get shoes for 10, 11 children. You can just go look in your storage, you know? That kind of thing is huge. We generally, most season changes, we're buying one or two pairs of shoes compared to for everyone, you know what I mean? That's, that's big. So we moved all of that to our small house and right now it's all in a big pile in our garage and <clears throat> the things we were storing all the shoes in have just, they've buckled under the weight of all the shoes and so I have to reorganize all of that. It's a big job. If we were just staying in the small house forever, I would just let go of the shoes, give them all away and just keep exactly what we're using. But we're not, we're moving to a bigger house after this <laughs> because we're building a house 
and we'll have plenty of room to store those shoes and it does help us so much. So everything we're moving out there is like a puzzle. It's solving a puzzle of where are we gonna put this? <laughs> we have a attached two car garage that we're using. I'll show you, but yeah, we're just kind of fitting everything in the puzzle. So we have a lot of puzzle pieces to put in over this next two weeks, a lot of them. <laughs> Whew, you can see my messy room, but it is nice to have a little time because I'm pulling the, all the bedding out and I'm gonna wash it here before we move over. But we haven't quite figured out what we're doing with that. I think that might have to live at his church office for a while and my desk, I think this is gonna house our big computer in our dining room. Oh boy, it's gonna be interesting, guys. Okay, I was gonna tell you too, as for the bed, we're going to try to stack these mattresses on top of the mattresses at our other house and take the bed frame off. So, <laughs> cause you can't store these mattresses upright it won't, for a year, it, it will ruin them. So we're just gonna take off the bed frame at the other house and stack. Is that gonna work? <laughs> I don't know, I'll let you know. Okay, I ended up getting a lot of help. A lot of my kids came to help um, and we finished quickly. But here, I wanted to show you the shoe things that are falling apart. They lean, when they're full of shoes, they lean almost all the way over. So they work for us for years, but too many heavy shoes with too many big feet. As always, we have a big load. We never drive now without a car full of stuff. We left the other house. I was feeling really good about things. Judah, Luca, Micah, Tori, Noel came helped. It's cleaned up on the way here and the drive back. I was imagining just moving one section a day. It's gonna be fine No problem, and I got to this house now. I feel very overwhelmed again. This is all their clothing the youngest six I'll have a dresser here. Yes in the hallway and living room. We brought more stuff We haven't gotten some of the stuff put away yet. Oh boy. I think the important thing to recognize is I need to not Follow my feelings. <laughs> I need to just keep moving and doing what I need to do next. Because it is easy to get overwhelmed. I'm about to show you something overwhelming. Boxes, winter stuff, duck stuff that needs to go out to the ducks, broken washer, and most of that is shoes that I need to deal with. Okay, it's gonna be okay, one step at a time. We are having to be creative in here. Um, so two bedrooms, so we're making into four because we're counting the loft as a bedroom. That's also where the kids' toys are. We don't have a ton of toys, but we do have some toys. We want a place for them to stay, play in bad weather and it not just be all over the living room, which means there's not really space left for their dressers. So that's why we're being creative by putting them here, which that works really well because it's close to the laundry room, which is right in there. Everything's close. <laughs> what did you find? somebody's suitcase. Noelle keeps bringing her special treasures over. <laughs> I was gonna do dressers all the way down the hall but realized that they fit here too. So that'll help with actually doing laundry. I just need them to stay neat and tidy or it will make me crazy. I told the kids, uh, some of them, a couple days ago when we moved out here, I was like, the only way we're gonna survive this is to stay on top of everything. We just, we have to clean up after ourselves constantly, you know? Things can get lax where kids are starting to throw their stuff everywhere, their backpacks and their whatever. They're coloring, they leave paper and markers all over. They don't put their clothes totally away or leave drawers hanging open. But it just really, we have to we have to do better in this place because it will feel... You saw a bug? Oh no, it will feel very overwhelming very fast. Guess what, Seth? Bugs live here. They live outside, they lived at our other house, and they live here. Seth's still in PJ. Solo is here, but he's on a really important phone call in our bedroom. Hopefully it's quiet enough for him. Oh, you got a book? We had about two to three days worth of stuff to live out here because we came out on weekends a lot. Uh, so the first day we came, we brought with us, we had some kids sick, so we just didn't get done as much as we thought, but we also brought with us um, our clothes, most of them. Also at the same time, the day before we left, I was switching out summer and winter, because it's warm now, but also it got cold the day we moved out here, so or the day after. So anyway, I'm still switching a little bit and trying to figure out where to store all the winter stuff, because these dressers, it's they stay neater and cleaner if I just have what we're actually using, so just summer stuff in it. 
All right, I'm gonna do the next thing and I'll get back to you. <laughs> we had more winter clothes at this house that I had to add to what was coming from the other house. So this is just like temporary solution here. We got a game going on here. We've been outside a lot this morning already. But I ended up putting the dressers back here, just lining them in the hallway. Um, we have shoes on top. I might hang like a command hook here that's just temporary down on top of each one for their their jackets or a sweatshirt because they're really full of summer clothes right now. So I have Peace, Seth, Destiny, Hope. Noelle has her own thing that's a little different and Eli. And I'm, I'm my goal is to just keep their shoes on top of their own space. You got 20 rocks? Wow. These chairs are going outside because we're in the garage in our storage because we're bringing our other chairs from our other house. It's looking nice and open here, but I think our desks are gonna have to come back here behind the couch. That's the plan anyway. I got my water filter away. I have a bit taller stool that's coming and another filter, honestly, so I don't know. Anyway, making a lot of counter space available, that always helps. And then we cleared out even the rug in here because the rug was just getting pushed around all the time and it wasn't effective. Actually, over there as well, it was just getting full of stuff and pushed around. Our biggest issue still seems to be shoes. I told all the big kids um, that their shoes either need to go in one small spot we have in the closet or outside in the garage or on the deck right now. And I'm gonna hopefully build something in the garage that will help give them a landing space. And then the little kids' shoes can all be here uh, if they have too many to just sit on their dresser. Like Eli has, he has church shoes, tennis shoes, and sandals, I think. So I may have to put a basket there for his. And so they all fit well, but we just need landing spots. We need homes for everything. That's the challenge. I know it's loud here. That's the challenge. Today I actually have to leave. I have a phone call. Um, a, for a business call and uh, my big kids are mostly at their homeschool co-op that they go to once a week and do some high school classes there and Judah is going to babysit for me because <laughs> Solo is working. Boy, they're having fun. They worked out with me this morning in here. I brought, I brought some of my weights on the fireplace. Oh, and then we went for a walk. It was nice, but we keep finding ticks today. It's tick season. I uh, found a couple in my bed, so I know my hair probably brought them home <laughs> yesterday. Someone left a boot that's supposed to be in the garage. Oh, and a couple more, and a pair of shoes. See, we're not we're not quite getting it yet. This area was a huge problem. Like, it's hard to walk into the bathroom. It's getting better. Somebody didn't remember where to put their dirty clothes. I mean, it's a work in progress. We got some keys hanging up here, and... We do have some hooks, but I need to get rid of the scarves that we don't need. This is gloves. It's just a process. The garage still looks horrible. Just one thing at a time. Seth brought a stick in and the dog is just chewing it up on all over the house. <laughs> Yesterday I went to bed very tired, but I think that's one of my favorite things. When you work really hard, you're exhausted, and then you let yourself rest. I could have kept working last night. It was like nine or 10. Like, nope, I'm stopping. And it felt so good to lay down and just relax. So it's always that balance, right? You work hard, you do what you need to do, and you make sure you make time to rest. See, a lot of people did listen to me. There's a lot of shoes out here, outside. Taking all of the chaos, all of it. I know I have. <laughs> I've employed some help. Does employ mean I'm paying them? Maybe I didn't employ them. <laughs> Tori and Eli are gonna help me have a half hour before I have to leave. Will you let me get anything then? Are you gonna let me work? She's making a deal with you, Mom. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see if we can make a dent. We have two shelves here. We're gonna do a boys shoe store. So I set up the girls shelf already. This is the baby sizes. So three through 12. I guess we do have 13s. Ooh, I missed that. I'll re rearrange those. And then adult sizes, I have four sizes on each shelf up to size 12. That's the size Belle is. She has big feet. And yeah, so they're gonna arrange this and then we'll mark the same one over here and see how much they can get done while I'm gone. So if we get a lot of these shoes on the shelves, we'll be able to clean out the garage and start arranging things better. Oh. <laughs> Tori found herself a new pair of Tommy Hilfiger's. <laughs> they're cute. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I've never worn those. No, I gotta go, so I'm gonna leave them to it for a while. Mom, oh. Mom, it's not, it's not 
Okay, wait, wait, check the size first. Don't put it up there yet. Wow, I just got back. I had a meeting and I had to go to the other house for the internet for uploading. But man, they did good. They're not done. They warned me, but I think they did a great job. I'm trying to shove a lot of big shoes into small spaces, but at least we'll know where to look for stuff, right? Wow, Judah, thanks for babysitting. Making mac and cheese. All right. Thank you guys for your help, you did good. Oh, he's vlogging today, look at How's that. How's it going guys? Those kids made themselves some milkshakes in the blender, and now they're all out of swing together. They've helped me so much. They did an excellent job with the shoes, and then Noelle decided she wanted to wash the van, so she convinced Eli to help her, so they washed the van. Looks really good. Uh, the little kids and I, we let the ducks out for a long time to play. And they help me clean up their coop. I gotta quit. I'm so tired. Do I look tired? I feel tired today. I actually didn't sleep last night very well. I fell asleep, but Solo was working at our other house till late and came back and woke me up. And then I didn't sleep till like 4 a.m. And I was woken up by 7. So <laughs> it's a good thing I worked out this morning. That's the only reason I'm surviving. That natural high. Okay, this is looking really good. This cat, poor couch that's fallen apart. I mean, we got the cushions downstairs and a fake leg, like some wood blocks under it. So I think I'm, I'm just about done there. I have some more shoes there, but I, I think those are solos that he's currently wears. So I gotta figure that out. We have a few that didn't, couldn't find matches for. I know Luca has that match somewhere. These all have matches, they're all sorted. We ended up taking the big boys shoes, size 12 and 13, just putting them in a tub, because there was too much down there. And the little shoes that were size seven and under for babies, I just put those in boxes too, just to save room on the shelves that were stacking up high. So um, I had gotten rid of some of the boys shoes before Seth was born, and yeah. <laughs> Now I'm not sure. And I got some rid of some assessed baby shoes too. So if I find people that need them, I just give them away. I've made progress. I would definitely say these are all empty and shaken out the dirt, most of them. That, that washer's gotta go. I have a rack coming tomorrow that is for hanging. I'm gonna hang all the coats and snow pants because we just have a coat overflow situation. We even have coats at our other house still. So I think that will help to have like a rolling rack out here just for the winter stuff. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna clean off that shelf. I got a lot of sweeping out to do. Make a place for winter boots and muck boots. Okay, I have dinner almost ready. Solo just called me and I was talking, but this shelf, are the previous owners left us and we have filled it up with junk, but it's meaningless junk. Solo's tools. <laughs> it's just random things mostly. And um, I think I'm gonna clean that off and use it. So I have, like I said, the muck boots, the snow boots, but then also, every kid needs a place for their own shoes. So that's another problem I'm solving. Right now, the little ones I showed you, I want their shoes on their dressers. But that leaves Tori, Micah, Luca, Belle, Judah's still here for a while, maybe a couple more months now. Solo and I will keep most of our shoes in our closet and some of my kids that have excess amount of shoes, they can do the same with their extra shoes. But like what you're wearing every day, you need a place somewhere to put them. And we don't have a mud room, we have a very small coat closet. So I'm gonna still solve that problem. I had to go home to work because of uploading videos and the internet there, but I looked around and there's, oh, I'm gonna be solving problems for weeks. <laughs> there's still a lot of stuff over there. It's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. Solo called me with good news, lots of good news. My babysitter just wrote me, she can't come tomorrow. Good and bad, all day, <laughs> bad. All right, we're gonna go take care of another owie. Oh, it looks like. It's not too bad. And then we're gonna eat dinner and I'm gonna pick this back up tomorrow, I guess. Coming to you from yet another day. It's the next day and Judah's actually gonna babysit for me today. Belle's gonna babysit for me tomorrow. So I hired them <laughs> and I'm going to get my work done. I feel good about it. Happy that they can help me. I think Judah's given me like five hours today. But I had a little time before I left. And so I did a little work here. I hope you see a bit of difference. We swept out that corner, moved this shelf all the way down, and I had a shoe shelf from our coat closet in our other house that I built up there. All the snow boots basically are there. I found a shelf for Judah, Belle, Luca, and Micah to put their shoes. So they're gonna have to be outside, but that'll be okay. I still have to deal with all this miscellaneous stuff that is collected. And I'm gonna clean off those bottom shelves for work 
boots, like muck boots. Basically rain boots for the kids when it's muddy. Um, work boots for me. Eli has his work boots down there already. So I feel like I've made some progress before I run off. We do have some coat hooks here and here, which has been helpful, but my coat rack should arrive today. And so I'll build that. This is a lot of shelving dedicated to <laughs> shoes, but we're 13 people in multiple seasons. So there are a lot of shoes. Can you imagine how much money it saves me to save boots? I didn't size those. Everybody knows what fits them basically, and we don't have too many boots. Um, but yeah, between that and our shoe shelves over here, <laughs> we got a lot of a lot of shoe storage. Uh, this middle part, I'm Solo would like a place for tools that he just gets to frequently for the house. He has a big, we have a separate shed, a separate garage that he has already so many tools that the previous owner left us and it's all organized well. So he'll move most of his tools out there, but I will clear these off with this makeshift table that somebody screwed into this extra piece someone screwed onto the front of these two shelves. So this can be a little workbench for him while we still make use of um, having places for shoes to land. It's Tori, Tori, Tori Solo and I. I haven't found a place for our shoes to land yet, but I'm getting there. So speaking of which, he just dropped off a shelf for us. Okay, it is the end of my work day. I'm trying to work full time while taking care of my kids, while moving, it's not happening. <laughs> Some things are giving. Uh, Judah did such a good job with the kids today though. Micah built this rack. It looks strong, sturdy. I realize I have no coat hangers here. But yeah, the wheels work good. Um, it's made so two of them can fold into each other. I think I might get a second actually for all our off season clothes and the church clothes we keep and hang that kids aren't fitting in yet. <clears throat> we'll see. I'm gonna get the winter stuff. It's all hidden over there. All hung up here. And that will keep it maybe from mice getting into it and things like that. I got home to a very clean house. I had leftovers that I'm using for nachos for dinner though. And I was working at the other house. So when I left, I was able to load up the car with some school desks, my desk that has now become our main computer, the printer, this all needs to go down a little bit, but it needs an extension cord, another kid desk and another kid desk. So made some progress getting things out of the house so that's helpful a couple stools there we have a second Berkey now because we're going down to one house <laughs> we go through that filtered water fast so no problem yeah and then tonight I have to go get milk from our milk farmer which is far away so no more progress tonight this vlog is going to be Maybe four days instead of three days. I hope it's not five. <laughs> another day, another more work. <laughs> I uh, went actually to go to our other house. We have internet here, but it's not strong enough to upload videos. And I was on my way actually, and I just turned around and came back. I realized I just need to be here for today. There's a few things I could do that don't involve uploading on the computer that are really important that need to be done. So. I was gonna do them while uploading stuff, but I thought I could just, I need to just stay home today. So I wanna show you progress. Although in a sweeping look, it does not look. Oh, Ooh, it's so cold too. You should just put shoes on please. Oh, okay, I'll help you. It's not ouch, it's just dirty. <laughs> Down here we got all our work boots, like um, rain or muck boots type situation. Uh, Eli has a pair of snow boots there, but that's what he wears. They, Eli and Micah have been working for a neighbor, which is really awesome, but they have to get dirty. So a neighbor out here with an acreage and cows and they love it. But we got Judah, Bell, Luca, Micah, Tori and I put our shoes there. And then of course I showed you Eli, Noel, Hope, Destiny, Seth, Peace. No, I missed somebody. Eli, Noel, Hope, Destiny, Seth, Peace. And in our front hall closet is where solos get to lie. So if we have too many shoes for where we have our space, they need to live in our own closet. This hall closet, by the way, is full of little kids' church clothes from Noel down. And this is summer and winter, so I'm hoping to get some of that out of there. I hope you appreciate progress reports. That's all I got.
She, she was complaining because I walked around the corner, heaven forbid. <laughs> Here's the clothing rack that Micah built that arrived in the mail yesterday. It is awesome. I love it. Wish I would have done it a long time ago, although in our other house we didn't have room in our storage room. I guess I could have kept it in the garage, but it rolls so easily here. And that you, like I said before, they stack together with that Z shape at the bottom. This is all of our coats that fit us and don't fit us, but we're not using them right now. So this will be where we keep uh, just coats that we're not using at the time. I barely fit it all in there. I was hoping to fit snow pants too. Instead, I have a bucket of snow pants up there and a bucket of gloves scarves, hats, all that kind of stuff. Um, so that will work for now. And then it just rolls away so easily so we can get to shoes that we need that we're not wearing right now or like not in the right size. So I feel like now that I have a home for everything, I mean, I have gone around and found every shoe and coat and <laughs> every glove and put it all away. Maybe it's just the way my brain works, but I really need everything to have a place, a spot to put it so that I can keep moving forward. Now we're gonna get this gator out of here and Mike is gonna help make room in the other storage room to park it and then we can really clean this out and furniture can start coming in. <laughs> I'll show you it cleaned out and ready to be loaded up with furniture, but I do feel like I have at least a system for all the things that are really important to us right now, clothes, and shoes, coats. The little kids have their jackets that they might need on top of, like I said, I might hang command hooks. But we also have this area outside our bathroom door where the laundry is, um, where I have some little girl socks that they always use and extra boy socks. Well, we can hang purses here or the big kids could hang their jackets, Solo and I, or sweaters that we're just using often that we want quick access to. So that'll work for now. So to review, we have our laundry room slash bathroom on the main floor. See the laundry outside the door? <laughs> Someone couldn't get in there when they needed to. Then we have all the little kids sh clothes, shoes, jackets right here. So it should be easy to put those away. Those blue chairs are going outside. And then around the corner to the hall closet we have their hanging clothes. Some jackets and sweaters but mostly like just dress clothes, church clothes. And so it should be easy to function as far as doing laundry and getting it all put away. That will help us survive this, so, um, and help us thrive, live here comfortably. So just having the system for everything <laughs> makes it much better. All right, it's another day of me not wearing makeup and we're back at it again. <laughs> I have solved a few more problems in the house I wanted to show you. For one, I remember I showed you this area where we hang some jackets or whatever, and this nice bench has a little lever on it. I love how it's like just real rustic and whatever. I had socks under here, so I went ahead and put like diapers and pull-ups and wipes under here because it's nice to have something on the main floor. Before, I had had them in here in this closet, but I just made this all floor things. By the way, we did a brand with that Hoover handheld vacuum recently. It is my favorite. We use it so often, I can't even believe it. Um, we have a huge carpet cleaner, but to have just a handheld one you can pull out and you know wipe things with real quick or clean up spots. Our washer machine had broken here, so we finally got a new one. We went to our salvage warehouse. We got a great deal on one. And I really wanted one without all the electric panel because that's what breaks on machines all the time. I wanted old school and with an agitator. The guys said it's very hard to get agitators these days because everybody wants them and they go fast. I've had it without agitators and they did not work for me probably because I do huge loads at a time. So that's nice. I got a washer and dryer here and I've measured here. I need to find a shelf because we do have some bedding that needs to go somewhere. I have nowhere to put it and I thought maybe a little shelf will fit there. This is where we keep like our extra supplies of things so that's not an option. Unless I move all that, which I don't want to do. What did you get? Paper towels? Oh. I'm just solving problems a little at a time, but um, we never had kept extra bedding for years and years now. Everybody just had one set of sheets per bed and we just change it. I think I had one extra twin sheet that I could, if there's like a middle of the night disaster. But otherwise, I would just wash sheets and put them back on just to not keep a lot of stuff. However, this last year, we've had two houses, so we ended up doubling all of our sheets. So I actually need a place to put extra bedding. You know, there's advantages to both. I like not having a lot extra, um, but I've also, I also like having one extra because you could just go around and change sheets and wash and fold and put them away later. 
when you don't have extra, you never folding sheets, which is nice. In our moving of things around, we found the Curly Girl book and Tori studied the method yesterday. She did it on her hair, it looks so good. And so now she just worked on Noelle and Hopes with the Curly Girl method. But she has high hopes, right? It's gonna look amazing. Wow, yeah, try not to touch it. Tori, let me see yours. Oh my <laughs> goodness, it's so good, I love it, yeah. Uh, Tori told me there was a couple things because I basically I thought I was doing the curly girl method But it's been years since I studied the book with Belle and there was a couple steps. We were missing, right? Oh, it looks so cute Oh Swavy what is swavy spiral wavy? Yeah, and what's yours? Um, mine is called like a zigzag something. And what's hers? Here's Desi's. Oh, nice. This is their model that has that type, and then this is... Oh, that's what her hair would look like really long? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's do a little update. The garage is looking mildly better. I will say that everything I have put together, or put in place here for storage and shoes and clothes so far, is working excellent which when I start a new system somewhere I always assume that I have to make adjustments and that it won't work well but I, I could say like five days in only five days in but five days in is working really really well and we are keeping up on the house well so everybody got a new zone here all the kids and I feel like we're covering the areas that need to be covered all the time I definitely have my share of it I'm washing the big dishes, I'm doing laundry, and I'm filling in for whatever kid's gone <laughs> at the time. Um, but yeah, it's working good. We still have some more systems to put in place. I haven't moved over my big kid's stuff yet, and that's kind of a mess because we had planned on Judah being gone, but he is still here and he has a whole room, and he has a whole room of stuff, and our RV is also in the shop right now, which we were gonna use until he left for Japan for a year. So we have a few things like major hurdles to cross, but so far everything's going well with like just the function of shoes not piling up at every door and it just feeling neat and tidy in the house, which makes a huge difference when you're going to a much smaller space. It has to stay tidy. It, there's like, in our bigger house, we could let things go because you just move to another room <laughs> sometimes. But I, I would say in a smaller house, it gets messier quicker, but you can't let things go. Most of our kids are sharing one bathroom. They definitely use the guest bathroom on the main floor. And they also take turns using the bathroom in my bedroom, but there's no door on that shower. It's like, so you have to lock the bedroom door if you want a locked door, which all my kids want a locked door. <laughs> they have a lot of siblings. They're used to people walking in on them. Otherwise, there's one bathroom in the basement that they all kind of share. At least that's where their stuff lands. And so we are cleaning that daily. There's no choice when you got that many people using the same bathroom. So that's going well. So far, everything's going well. I'm a little overwhelmed with how much we still have to bring over here, but that's why we're cleaning the garage. I will say I am very stressed out. I don't usually get so stressed out, but last night, I think Solo was sleep talking his stress in his sleep, and it woke me up, and I couldn't sleep for hours because I just thought, kept thinking of all I have to do. And it's not really the move, it's more, everything else in our lives. There's so much going on at one time and it just happened that it's all happening at the same time with the move and I realized I cannot keep, I can't be this stressed out. I'm trying to release a course. This is my first time doing it. It feels very clumsy. There's a lot of things that I wanted to do that I'm just struggling to figure out, getting an email list. I really just need a virtual assistant because I don't have, I love learning new things, but I don't have the mental capacity or the space to just sit down and really learn new things and put together new things. And so I made a couple decisions today that, it makes, that uh, to have taken some stress off and just made me feel better about everything. It was like either delay the course by a lot or just move forward and forget all the other stuff. But Solo also has similar things going on in his life of, um, of his business life that things are just happening all at the same time at the same time that we should be moving our house and we have painters coming in a week for, or like uh, nine days uh, we have a birthday coming we have prom we have a graduation party <laughs> it just goes on and on and so uh, it, 
it is not on purpose that it all happened at once, but it did happen at once. And so sometimes you just gotta make decisions to make everything for you to mentally handle it. And that's what I did today. I made a decision that makes me feel a lot better. So um, as far as the function of the house, it is going very well. As far as the function of my brain, <laughs> it's getting better. Do you see all this nasty trash? Some of it's wood shavings from the ducks, some of it's dirt. And you see this that Solo brought from the other house? Yes, it's a leaf blower. I cannot stand it when he uses a leaf blower, especially if I'm in the area, because it all blows up into the air and I can't stand it. But he's like, hey, save the garage for me. I'm gonna clean it out. And I know it's because he loves his leaf blower so much. <laughs> and he sees a good chance to use it. See that massive rat, rat trap the previous owners left us? What does that mean? I found several mice in here already, dead and alive. I think barn cats are need to be high on the priority list. Uh, but somebody told me in the comments that they used to think barn cats were great, but then they had some barn cats kill some chickens. So maybe if I get them from kittens, does that work? Cause you can introduce them to the birds while they're growing up. Please tell me that works. Cause I don't want to spray nasty stuff or keep trapping them. I just want cats to do it for me. This big table has been, all the leaves have been taken out. We brought some chairs from our house over. This table's ready to go out to the shed. <laughs> she doesn't know I'm filming her. Uh, yeah, so it's feeling real wide open spaces here and look how clean my kitchen stain. So nice. One thing I love about this house, even if it's a small size, it we never have to turn lights on, never. Even on dark, gloomy days like today, it is bright in here in my, our other house. We love our other house for a lot of reasons, but the brightness is not one of them. Wow, you make quick work of this. You make quick work of this. I wish uh, that I would have done this before we started putting stuff in, but it's all right. I cleaned all the spots I put stuff though. Yeah. I cleaned them well. Ooh, boy, the smoke flight in here from that. Yeah. That thing. It's getting <laughs> stuff behind there. Nothing does it better. Mm -hmm. Can I try sweeping? Yeah. Can I try sweeping? Yeah. Go ahead. Because with that... Wow, this has been quite the project, but we are cleaning it all out. <laughs> Solo just said, you get done, and then you haven't even started. He keeps finding more corners of dust, but it's looking yeah. good. It's like spring cleanup. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but not really. So we have a fridge coming here and two more freezers. <laughs> Coming here, one more of those shelves hopefully can be accessible. We're thinking about making a play area here with carpet, just for like the little kitchen stuff. Besides a path in to the shoes and the door and access to all that, a small path, everything else is gonna be furniture. And we also need a path back here to the freezers and over to the play area. Place to see <laughs> we do have a window there and there so we could get some ventilation going. We have gotten a lot done and we're ready now to move the big furniture. So that's next week. This is the end of the week by the time I'm filming this one. I filmed the whole week this one video. It feels like I haven't done hardly anything but I think we've laid the foundation for a lot. We've moved most of the stuff that uh, he uses a shovel. <laughs> most of the stuff that will fit in the house. Uh, so the rest just has to fit out here somewhere. Wish us luck. 